Thank you, saints. Thank you for connecting with us. As we connect on one network, it just dropped and we had to change the network. Thank you for tuning in this evening uh, for day number two of our prayer and fasting as we trust God for a better year, a year set apart for elevation, for you to be located, for you to be identified. By the grace of God, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. So thank you for tuning in once again into this prayer session. We're ready to go. The network was giving us an issue. I think now it's sorted uh, and we're ready to go in Jesus' name. Even as you tune in, kindly help us just share the live broadcast. Let somebody know that the prayer session is now on in Jesus' name. And let somebody connect with us this evening in Jesus' name. Even as you join, you tag somebody. Can we share the live broadcast? Let somebody else uh, uh, jump into the prayer and let their lives be touched. Let somebody else jump into the prayer. Let their lives be impacted at this hour in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Share the live broadcast even as you come in in Jesus' name. Just share the live bro uh, broadcast even as you come in in Jesus' name. We're ready to go. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible, uh, quickly we're going to read uh, uh, two scriptures as we're praying in Jesus' name. Uh, Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. Proverbs 21 verse 1. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. Proverbs 21 verse 1. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we had the glitches just two minutes before starting with the, uh, uh, after starting with the network, but I think now we are sorted. Uh, Proverbs 21 verse 1, 
the Bible read, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, like the rivers of water. He turns it wherever he wishes, meaning God turns the heart of the king wherever he wishes in the name of Jesus. That Proverb 21 uh, verse 1, the king's heart and Solomon utilizing the word king not to say no, not other people's heart God cannot influence. No, but he's using the word the king to show us that even the highest authority in a place of people, even that heart is in the hand of the Lord and our God has the ability to turn that heart in whichever way he wishes. Like the river, river is not static but fluctuating. So it is the heart of a man or the heart of a king in the hand of God in the name of Jesus. And we saw that even in Egypt, at one stage, because God wanted to fulfill his purpose in Egypt, he hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that it would demonstrate his power. When that was completed after the tenth plague, and now that God is softened the heart of Pharaoh so that he may allow the children of Israel to get out of Egypt in the name of Jesus. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord like a rivers of water and our God turns it wherever way he wishes in the name of Jesus. But our prayer shall be the heart shall be turned into our favor in the name of Jesus. Number two scripture before we go into prayer, uh, I want us to read Ezra chapter 6 verse 22. Ezra chapter 6 verse 22. Ezra, we have first king, second king, first chronicle, second uh, chronicle, Ezra, then Nehemiah. So the book of Ezra chapter 6 there, verse 22. Hallelujah. Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. In the name of Jesus. Glory to the Most High. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ezra chapter 6 verse 22. The king's heart is in the hand. Oh, that was Proverbs 21 verse 1. It's still ringing within me. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Like rivers of water. God turns that heart wherever way he wishes. Now, Ezra chapter 6 verse 22. Read as follows. And they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy. For the Lord made them joyful and turned the heart of the king of Assyria toward them to strengthen their hand in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. God turned the heart of the king of Israel. Assyria in the favor of the children of Israel in the name of Jesus. It turns the heart of the children of Israel, or the heart of the king of Assyria, in the favor of the children of Israel so that he may fulfill his purpose upon them. They are returning from Babylon, and God wants indeed that they are, they are, they are, they are the rebuilding of the house of God in Jesus' name. Now, in this instance, we see the kings. Though he's a non-believer king, God warm up his heart toward the children of Israel so that they may fulfill his assignment of rebuilding the house of God, a place of worship in the name of Jesus. As we say, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord like rivers of water. God, our God, turn that heart in whichever way he wishes. In this instance, he turns the heart in order to help the children of Israel rebuilding the house of God in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want us to pray. We're going to do a lot of prayer by God's grace about divine helpers. Divine helpers. Divine helpers are people that God has ordained. God has assigned. God has equipped. God has empowered to help you fulfill your purpose 
here on earth in the name of Jesus. I'm going to repeat that so we pray with understanding. Divine helpers are men and women that God in his own sovereignty has ordained. Be it believer or no believer, he has ordained them to help you. He has ordained them and equipped them to be able to assist in your destiny, to be able to assist in your calling, to be able to assist in your career, to be able to assist in whatever area of your life in the name of Jesus. Those people that God has ordained for your help are called divine helpers. Amen. Divine helpers. The people that God has a strategically positioned to be able to help you, to be able to push you move forward, to be able to help you move to the next level in the name of Jesus. Remember, we are living in the domain of men, in a place that God has ordained, in a domain of men that God has given to men. And in this domain, it's controlled and managed by God. That's why you will see even the blessing of God coming into your life will come from God through men to men. The blessing of God will come from God through men unto you in the name of Jesus. It may not fall directly from heaven to you, but God will warm up the heart of somebody to be able to help you in what God wanted you to do in the name of Jesus. That's why we have divine helpers, men and women that God has ordained for your help, men and women that God has empowered to help you in your career, in business, in a ministry, in fulfilling of your purpose here on earth. There are men that God has ordained for your help in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want you to follow the declaration here that I'm leading you and follow in line and pray where you are in the name of Jesus. There is power in uttering what we are praying in the name of Jesus. As we have seen before, revival how words are instruments of creation. Words are released into to go and bring and, and create. Even God, the scripture said, he sent his word and his word heal them. So we are sending what we want to see in our future in the name of Jesus. I am saying that to say this, that you need to utter and follow the prayer as we are leading you here tonight in the name of Jesus. Where you are, begin to utter what we are saying. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. Let my divine help us for 2021 to arise and locate me, and locate me in the name of Jesus. Name my of Father, Jesus. my God, my Father, my let God. my divine help us for 2021, 2021 to arise and locate, and locate me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. My Father, my God, Father, my let God. my divine help us divine for 2021, 2021 to arise and, and locate me and in the name of Jesus. Name Begin to pray in line with that declaration. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for divine helpers, O God, for our lives in the name of Jesus. Divine helper for our lives, divine helper in our lives, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine helpers, mighty God. Let there be divine helpers, we pray. Divine helpers for our lives, for this year, Lord, the people, men and women, that you have ordained, that we have empowered. For our lives, oh God, let them arise, let them locate us, let them arise, let them locate your people by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, divine helper, we pray. In the lives of your people, divine helper, we pray. In the life of your people, divine helpers, in our calling, divine helpers, Lord, to arise and locate by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, men and women that God has ordained for our life in 2021, let them arise and locate us, locate us of God. Let them locate us, locate us of the promotion, locate us, Father, for our career, locate us, oh God, for our elevation. Let divine help us, oh God, locate somebody for their ministry. Divine help, oh Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. We are praying for divine help, men and women, that God has ordained, God has assigned, God has empowered to help you in the name of Jesus, the men that God has ordained to help you, Kanisa, we are praying, let them locate you, let them locate 
marvelous. Let them locate and know we divine and help us to locate you by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we beginning to pray in the name of Jesus. Every month, let divine help us ordained by God for each month of 2021 to locate you in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. We continue to pray in Jesus' name. Where you are, follow after me and pray in line with that prayer in the name of Jesus. You have to act a word. You have to speak the word into the atmosphere. Let them be creating agents. Let them be instruments of creation and bring to pass and draw divine helper to locate you in the name of Jesus. That's why we are uttering those in Jesus' name. Where you are, begin to pray, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. let my helpers for each month of 2021 locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let divine help us in each month of 2021 locate me in the name of Jesus. You have to utter those words. Oh Lord, let divine help us for each month of 2021 locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let divine help us for the month of February. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let divine help us for the month of March. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray and mention every month of this year in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, let divine help help us. Arise and locate us. Divine help us, oh my God. For the month of March, for the month of April, let them hear the voice of the Lord. Let them arise and locate your people. Let them arise and locate your people. In the name of Jesus, every divine helper ordained by God, equipped by God, assigned by God for your elevation in the month of April, let them arise and locate you in the name of Jesus. Father, hear our prayer. Respond to our prayer, O God. Let the voice of the Lord ring in the atmosphere. Cause divine help, Lord, to hear the voice and arise, O God, and locate your people in the month of May. Divine help, arise and locate your in the name of Jesus. Divine help us, arise and locate us in the name of Jesus. Divine help us, arise and locate us in the name of Jesus. Divine help us for the month of May. Let them start arising and locating your life in the name of Jesus. Let them arise, divine help us. Divine help us for Jacqueline, arise and locate Jacqueline in the name of Jesus. Divine help us for our lives in the month of July. Let them hear the voice of the Lord. Let them rise and locate you in the name of Jesus. Let them locate you. Let them identify with you. Let them find you by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying. Let divine help us, oh God. Divine help us, Lord. In the month of August, in the month of September, arise, hear the voice of the Lord. Arise and locate divine helpers, men and women, assigned by God, ordained by God for your elevation, ordained by God for your breakthrough, ordained by God for your next level. Let them arise and locate you in the name of Jesus. Divine helper, we are praying. Begin all oh, continue to pray. Call every month, every month. You have to mention every month of 2021. Divine helper for the month of September to locate you innocent by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, hear the prayer, Masakata Mama. Divine help us, our Lord. Let them identify with your people. Let them identify with Sunny. Divine help us for the month of October. Hear the voice of the Lord. Arise and locate us in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, in the month of November, may we be located by men and women ordained by God for our divine purpose. Men and women ordained by God for our divine assignment in the month of December. 
let them arise and locate you. Let them arise and locate my life. Divine help for the year 2021. Ordain, O oh God, for Revival House. Arise and locate the Revival House by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Divine help. Toro Saketeva. Makara Sikara. We could have moved. We still on that prayer in the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. We're going to address the four corner, the four wind of the earth, the north, east, south, and west. I'm still on this prayer. There are people in the Bible. They were, the God has turned up their heart to locate somebody in the name of Jesus. We saw in 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1. The heart of David was stirred up to identify a man called Mephibosheth. He was crippled, not uh, he was there, crippled, not moving somewhere in, uh, in Lodeba. Until David said, Is there a man from the house of Saul, a person that I can show goodness? That is the heart of a divine help, being stirred up by God to locate somebody in the name of Jesus. For we are praying in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, for divine helpers. We see even in the life of Jesus in Matthew chapter 2, verse, verse uh, chapter 2, the wise men from the east rising because they see the star. They say, let us go and worship. Let us go and see the, the king of the Jew that is born. But we are praying for divine helpers. Let them come, not only from the east, from the north, uh, from the east, uh, from the south, from the west, from the four winds, let them identify with you. Let them arise and, and locate you in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Pray like this. My Father, my God, let my divine help us in the north arise and locate my life in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let my divine help us in the east arise and locate my life in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let my divine helpers in the south arise and locate my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let my divine helpers in the west arise and locate my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray in line with that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, divine helper, O oh God, from every corner of the earth, in the north of her, those in the north, let the gate in the north open, let them arise, let them locate us, let them come forth, let them locate your people, divine helper of her, to find the Joanna, divine helper mighty God, to find the Renanso, in the name of Jesus, divine helper we pray, in the east, let them hear the voice of the Lord, let them respond, let the east respond, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus, divine helper, we pray. Makoro Sataba, Yekerela Sataba, divine helper concerning your life uh, that are in the east. Uh, let them hear the voice of the Lord. Let them rise and locate you. Let the gate uh, in the south open, uh, open, uh, open. Let your divine helper come forth uh, by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, divine helper, my father, we pray. Men and women, you have ordained for our lives, O oh God, who are in the south. Let them locate us, O oh God. Let them respond by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, men and women, that you have ordained, O oh God, for our purpose, for our elevation, for our promotion, for our movement forward in the area of business. Those that are in the west, let them hear the voice of the Lord. Let them arise and locate us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise, the Lord. We give you the glory. Makoro Sakataba, divine helpers, we pray. In the name of Jesus, men and women that God has ordained from the four winds of the earth to arise and locate you in the name of Jesus. Any resistance of the enemy in the north, in the east, in the south, in the west, concerning your divine helper. Let that resistance be broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Mosa. We continue to pray in the name of Jesus. We're continuing to pray. If you have your Bible, 
Now, let's turn to Mark chapter 15. Mark chapter 15. Divine helper to locate you. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Mark chapter 15, verse 42, going down to verse 45. Mark 42 to 45. In the name of Jesus, we are continuing to pray for men and women that the Lord has ordained for your purpose here on earth to arise and locate you, Amen. to identify with you in the name of Jesus. Men and women that God has ordained for your assignment. We are living on the planet earth. A domain control and managed by men as, men, as God has ordained it. Hence, the, the Bible says, Psalm 115, verse 16, the heaven, even the, the heavens are the Lord, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. So we are here on planet Earth in a world of men. There are men and women whose God has ordained to assist you for your elevation, to assist you for your increase, to assist you in the next level. In the name of Jesus, that's what we are praying here today. Let them arise and locate you in the name of Jesus. As we have said, the blessing of God manifesting in people's life comes from God through men to men. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to the Mosai. Mark chapter 15, verse 42 says, Now when evening had come, because it was the preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. Verse 43, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent council member. When you read from other gospels, they talk how he was wealthy. A prominent council man who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, coming and taking courage, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross until he died. But to bring down the body, it 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 it, it, it to bring down the body, it will require somebody to do that in the name of Jesus. And in this instance, it took a man of caliber, a prominent man, a wealthy man, to go boldly and speak to Pilate and say, let the body come down in the name of Jesus so that they could bury the body. It was not the intercessor. It was not the apostle. It was not the disciple who went there at Golgotha. It was a man of preeminence. It was a man of influence who took courage and said and went into the corridor of power and said, Let the body of Jesus Christ come down so that they could bury it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is one category of divine helpers called men of influence, men or women of influence, men who can speak to the people in power and they hear, men who can speak on your behalf. And the people in power respond. Men and women who, 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 who have access to gates, who have access to people in authority. Men and women who have access to people in power in the name of Jesus. Let those men and women in this year speak on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. Men of influence are men and people. That, uh, uh, that uh, there are people that w you may have the skill, you may have the qualification, but they are the one who will endorse you. They are the one who will open a door for you. You may be gifted, but you need men and, and women of influence here or earth to open the gate for you, to open the marketplace for you, to introduce you to people in the marketplace, to introduce you to people in higher places, to introduce you and speak on your behalf in the corridors of power. Those men and women who have influence as ordained by God on your behalf, let them locate and identify with you in the name of Jesus. You will see, even I'm just reading quickly, you don't need to turn there. When you go in Jeremiah 38, there is a man called Ebed Melech. He was a man of influence. He spoke to the king on behalf of prophet Jeremiah. And the king caused Jeremiah to be taken out of the prison in the name of Jesus. He is called a man of influence who can speak to people in the corridors of power, who can speak to people in authority, who can endorse you, who can open a door, who can endorse 
endorse you and say, this person will be able to do what you are looking for. They endorse you. They utilize their credibility to your advantage. That's what I'm saying. They utilize their credibility to your advantage in the name of Amen. Jesus. So we're going to pray for men and women of influence to be connected to you in this year of 2021. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. So begin to pray and follow after this prayer. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. I pray for connection, pray for to, connection men of influence, to men of influence in my career. In, my career. in the name of Jesus, name of my, Jesus. Father, my, God, my Father, my God. I pray for connection, pray for connection to men of influence, men of influence in my business. In, my business. in the name of Jesus, name of my Jesus. Father, my God. My I pray for connections to men of influence in my ministry in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray for men of influence in my career in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray for men of influence, women of influence concerning my purpose here on earth. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray in line with that. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence, men and women of influence, Lord, in the lives of your people, in our lives, oh God, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for men, we pray for men, we pray for women of influence, oh God, who will speak on our behalf in the corridors of power, in the name of Jesus, men and women who will speak, oh God, on behalf of your people, in the corridors of power, in the corridors of business, in the name of Jesus, men and women who will endorse your people, who will endorse the gift of your people, in the name of Jesus, men and women of influence of God, who will utilize their credibility to bring an elevation into somebody's life, who will utilize their credibility, Father, for the opening of doors concerning your people, by in the power of God, men and women of influence, men and women of influence in Hillary's life, men and women of influence in innocent life, men and women of influence in Kanisa's life, men and women of influence in Lucy's life, men and women of influence in your life, men that will endorse you, men and women that will open doors for you in the name of Jesus, men and women of influence in the name of Jesus that will speak in the gate of business that will speak on the behalf in the marketplace that will endorse your business in the marketplace in this year by the power of God in the name of Jesus son of the living God we are praying for men and women of influence men and women of influence in the name of Jesus men of influence Women of influence, you may have the gift, you may have the talent, but it will take a man or a woman of influence to speak for you in the marketplace so that they start doing business with you. It will take a man and women of influence to speak on your behalf in people in authority so that they may accept you, so that they may bring you to the table of making deals in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence in your life, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are living on planet Earth. It's a domain controlled by men, managed by men. It's the divine mandate. As God has ordained it even from the beginning. He created the man so that he may have dominion here on earth. Now for you also to make it, there are people who's God, who God has ordained for your life to help you move forward. To help you increase, to help you go to the next level. Those people are called men and women of influence. They are not jealous of you. They are not envious of your gift. They are not envious of your business. All they want is to see you excel, is to see you elevated, is to see you move forward. Those people are called men of influence. It took Joseph of Arimathea for the body of Jesus to come down because he was a man of influence. He could speak to the corridor of power and they yielded and they released the body to him. Not to the disciple, not to his apostle, not to the apostle, not to the people who were crying at Golgotha, but he took a man of influence called Joseph of Arimathea to speak to Pilate and say, let the body of Jesus come down so that I 
may go and bury it in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence in the name of Jesus. We are continuing to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, glory to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us open our Bible in the, in the book of Ruth. Ruth chapter 1 verse 15 to verse 17. Ruth chapter 1 verse 15 to 17. In the name of Jesus. Divine help us ordained by God for 2021. Let them locate you. Men of influence. People in the gate, in the corridors of power. People in high places. Let them connect you. Let them endorse your gift. You may be gifted, but you are looking for a platform. Who is going to give you the platform? Who is going to endorse you? They are men and women whose God has ordained to help you in that area in the name of Jesus. That's what we are praying. Divine help us. Men of influence, men of caliber, who will speak to people in power, and they agree. Who will speak on your behalf to decision maker, and they work with you in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence. Now we are moving on. Ruth chapter 1 verse 15 to 17. Ruth chapter 1. Oh uh, yeah, chapter 1 verse 15. The Bible says, and she said, look, your sister-in-law, the, the she there is Naomi. Naomi said, look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. Verse 16 reads, But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For where you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Amen. Your people shall be my people. Amen. Your God my God. Amen. Verse 17. Where you die, I will die. Hallelujah. And there where I will be buried. The Lord do so to me and more also. If anything but death parts you and me in the name of Jesus. When we read the verse 16 and 17. You will see that the word that Ruth are, is using there, those are covenant words. Where you say, where you will die, I will die. Where you go, I will go. When you suffer, I will also suffer. When, when you go through hard time, I will be with you. When you are utilizing those words, those are covenant words. They are not easily used by anybody into the life of any other person in the name of of Jesus. Amen. And those in the in terms of divine help, people like that, they are called burden bearers. Burden bearers. Bearers, B-E-A-R-E-R. -E burden bearers. People who can bear your burden. People who can carry your burden with you in the name of Jesus. These are the people that are trusted Faithful, trusted people, faithful people that God has ordained who will stay with you through the storm and challenges until your glory is revealed in the name of Jesus. Burden bearers are men and women that God has ordained. They are faithful people, trusted people who will be with you when you are in the storm. Who will be with you when you go through challenges? Their passion is to see your glory revealed in the name of Jesus. Their desire is to see your breakthrough manifest. Their desire is they know though you are going through pain, it's just a matter of time before you break forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. These are called burden bearers. This category of divine helpers are rare people. You cannot have, you may not have 10 in your life. Here you have three, four in your life. Consider yourself fortunate in the name of Jesus because there are not many. When you are going through rough times, many people are not there with you. When you are going through challenges, many people are not there with you. In your good times, people are there, many of them. 
But when you're going through challenge, through rough patches in life, you realize that it's only maybe two or three people who are there to help you carry the burden, to help you in the challenge, to navigate through the issue of life until your glory is revealed or until your promotion manifests in the name of Jesus. They are called burden bearers. And burden bearers are not many. Don't expect to have 20 burden bearers. Neither maybe 10 bed and bed. In every life you might find three, four, or one, or none at all in the name of Jesus. Because they are rare people, yes. endangered species. Yes. They are not there all the time. They are very rare people in the name of Jesus. But this category of people, you need them in order to navigate through the challenges. In order to help you offload the burden that you are carrying. And their intention, they are with you until your glory is revealed. Now, uh, Ruth is with Naomi until Naomi's glory is revealed. So that's why she said, where you die, I will die. I will not leave you. I entreat me not to leave you, nor to go back following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your, you, your people shall be my people. Your God. My God, where you die, I will die. There I will be buried. Those are covenants with it means in the challenge, I am with you. In your pain, I am with you. When you are going through rough time, I am with you. Because I know soon or later, it's just a matter of time before you come out. It's just a matter of time before you are elevated. It's just a matter of time before your breakthrough manifests in the name of Jesus. Those people are called burden bearers in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord shall reveal to you your burden bearer in this year in the name of Jesus in 2021. Your burden bearer shall be revealed unto you in the name of Jesus. So where you are, follow after me. We are speaking. You are to speak it. Let the atmosphere be charged with the word that you are uttering. You believe in the heart and you are speaking it. And let it be charged and let it be so by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray and say, oh Lord, oh Lord reveal unto me reveal unto my me. burden bearers in my, life, in my life in the name of Jesus. Name of oh Lord, Lord. Reveal unto me my burden bearers in my life in this year in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, reveal unto me my burden bearer in my life for 2021 in the name of Jesus. One more time, oh Lord, reveal unto me my burden bearer in my life in this year. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying here together with your people. Burden bearer, we pray. 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 By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, burden bearer. People who are there with you, in your storm, they are there. In your challenge time, they are there. They are there to help you. They are there to carry the burden with you. They are called burden bearers, like a Ruth and Naomi. In the name of Jesus, the men and women, as a burden bearer in your life, divine comfort to come and be with you until you are come out, until your glory is revealed, until your gifts are revealed, until your purpose is manifested. Burden bearers in your life, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for burden bearers in the life of Sunny. Burden bearers, people will stick with Sunny in the name of Jesus, by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, we are praying, Lord. Make our supper. Burden bearer, we pray. Burden bearer, we pray. Trust in the people, faithful people, ordained by God, who will stay, oh God. In the name of Jesus, faithful people, trusted people, Father God, faithful people who will stay ordained by God. In the name of Jesus, who are ordained by God, who will stay ordained, who are ordained, ordained by God. 
in the name of Jesus. They are ordained by God in the name of Jesus. Ordained by God. We will stay with you through the storm, through the challenge, until your glory is revealed, until your breakthrough manifest. For we are praying here today. Let the burden bearer be located. Let them locate you. Let them be identified in the name of Jesus. Burden bearers. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Most High. These people are not many. Don't expect to have many of them in your life. They are not there. They are endangered species. They are rare people. They can be one. They can be two. They can be three. If you are a fortunate person here on earth, and when you have two or three, consider yourself most fortunate because they are ordained by God to be with you, to navigate through the issues of life, to navigate with you through your storm, through your pain, until your glory is revealed. They are with you. They back you up. They support you. They bring encouragement until your business break forth. They are with you until your ministry break forth. They believe in your calling. They believe in the vision. They believe in your gift. They believe in your divine assignment. They are not there for this and that. They want to see your purpose being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. They want to see your ministry break forth. They want to. They are there with you until revival break out in our land. They are there with you. They are called burden bearers Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So we are praying that the Lord may release the burden bearers in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Burden bearers Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Men and women who are faithful, trusted, ordained by God and to stay with you through storms, through pain, through challenges, through the issues of life until your glory is revealed. Until your vision come to pass. Until your business break forth. Until your marriage is established. When you go to marital challenge, they are there with you. Their desire is to see your marriage now flourish so that you may be enjoying in the name of Jesus. Those people are called burden bearers. It's a rare category of divine helpers here on earth in the name of Jesus. When you are going through challenges, you will see Jesus, when, when, when he multiplied bread, there were many people, 5,000 beside women and children. When there were the miracle, the crowd of follow. When they were healing, a crowd of followed. When it was a time to carry his cross, nobody was there. When it was time to carry his cross, nobody was there. Until there is one man, <laughs> he's, a, he's a border bearer called Simon of Cyrene. When you read Mark 15 verse 21, he's called Simon of Cyrene. He is the only one who had to help Jesus carry his cross. Because in the time of pain, of carrying a cross, you are all by yourself. But a burden bearer will be with you on your cross, carrying your cross in the name of Jesus. The multitude were with Jesus at when they multiplied prayer. When there was healing, when there was teaching, they all happy. Let us make you as a king. Be a king. Be, be a king. Be a king now. But at the time of carrying his cross, it was Simon of Cyrene who had carried the cross of Jesus Christ. That is a burden bearer. Is a rare type of divine helpers that God has ordained in your life. They are trusted people. Faithful people, yes. they are with you in pain. Yes. They are with you in challenges. Yes. When you are going through struggle, they are there with you because they believe what you carry will be revealed. They believe your assignment is a godly assignment. It's just a matter of time for it to break forth. They know the business idea you have and what you are trying to do, the connection, it will work. It's a matter of time. They back you. They back you with counsel. They back you with prayer. They back you with connection. They are called burden bearer. They are with you. When you go into the valley, they are with you. In the high water, they are with you. In fire, they are with you. They are rare people. They are called burden bearer. We pray for them in our lives because... In the journey of life, there are times, there are ups and downs. There are times you'll be in the valley. 
all by yourself. But it's those at the time where you see divine help running behind you, encouraging you, supporting you, praying with you, praying for you, helping you until you come out. That is their passion. That's what is in their heart to help you come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. They are called burden bearers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May they locate you. May they locate you in the name of Jesus. Even in terms of burden bearer, even yourself, the prayer is the Lord to make you a burden bearer. Let the Lord make you a burden bearer in somebody else's life yes. in the name of Jesus. Because we need one another. There is somebody who is longing. Can somebody be here for my help? Can somebody be here for my assistant? That person is desiring a burden bearer. May the Lord make you a burden bearer. Amen. In somebody else's life. In the name of Jesus. How oh, we give you praise Lord. Amen. We pray for divine help in the lives of your people. We pray that you may connect your people to men of influence. We pray that you may connect your people, Lord, to men and women of influence. Men who can speak on their behalf in the corridors of power, in people in authority. Men and women of influence who will utilize, oh God, their credibility to announce somebody, to endorse you in the name of Jesus. I am praying, Father, for divine help, a burden bearers in the lives of your people, Lord, who shall connect somebody, who shall be there in the pain, in stages of life where there is struggle and be with them. May you reveal the burden bearers of your people in this year of 2021 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the most. Burden bearers. Burden bearers. Burden bearers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we, there is another one we wanted to tie, but they are we thank God that it's almost time now in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence to help you in the name of Jesus. Remember, we are living in a domain of men. Planet Earth is a domain of men. Controlled by men. Managed by men. Hence, you need men and women for you also to make it. They are called divine helper because they are not jealous people. They are not envious of your gift. They are not envious of your assignment. They are not envious of your marriage. They are not jealous about your business. They are not envious that you will make it more than them. No, that is not their preoccupation. As they are called divine helper, it is God who has equipped them, assigned them, ordained them for your elevation, for your breakthrough, for your next level, for your ministry. They are called divine helper. Help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, though is sovereign, creator of heaven and earth, the earth belongs to the Lord. The earth is the Lord and his fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Psalm 24, verse 1. But God in his own sovereignty, this is what he has done. The heaven is the throne of God. The earth, he has given it to the sons of men. When you read Psalm 115, verse 16, he said, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord. But the earth, he has given to the children of men. He has given to you and me. We are in a domain of men, controlled by men, managed by men, managed by men. In the name of Jesus. And you will see even the manifestation of the blessing of God in your life. They come from God through men to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The channel through which they come from. That's why we are calling divine helper. They are people ordained by God for your elevation in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May divine helpers locate you. Yes, Lord. For your career, for your business, for your calling. In your life, divine helpers, let them locate you yes. here now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. This is a week of prayer and fasting. So tomorrow we are continuing. Usually we don't meet on Friday, but tomorrow we are continuing. And you don't want to miss any of the session. You don't know your hour of visitation. Hence, on Wednesday, you connect for prayer. Today, Thursday, you connect for prayer. Tomorrow, Friday, 7 p.m., you connect for prayer. Saturday, 7 p.m., you connect for prayer. Sunday, half past nine, for the Holy Communion service to end our prayer and fasting, you connect for prayer because you don't know your hour of visitation.
visitation in the name of Jesus. For you is to avail yourself in the environment of prayer. In a place of prayer, anything can happen. Because we have opened up to divine, <laughs> to, to, to the spiritual, inviting God to have his way. That is prayer. Prayer is a divine invitation to God to have his way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the most high. In the name of Jesus. So tomorrow, 7 p.m., we are continuing with the prayer in Jesus' name. And if you have not shared the live broadcast, please share. Let somebody else connect with the prayer so that tomorrow when they join is a continuation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Amen. most high. In the name of Jesus. Remain blessed and preserved. May divine helper for 2021 locate you. In every month of this year, may divine help us identify with you. Divine help us from every corner of the earth. North, east, south, west, locate you in the name of Jesus, son of the living God. Let them identify with you. May God send you men of influence. May God send you women of influence. May God connect you with people of influence in the name of Jesus. May you... Jehovah God, reveal unto you your burden bearer, even in this year, in the name of Jesus. Remain blessed and lifted. Remain in prayer. And then visit the page, church page, every morning at past five. Uh, scripture and prayer point are there for the day so that you, you spend time in the word, you spend time in prayer even during the day and at 7 p.m. we connect in Jesus' name. It's a time of prayer and fasting. During the day we are just on water but in the evening we break the fast with a light meal in the name of Jesus. Remain blessed and preserved. Let us connect again tomorrow Friday at 7 p.m. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. In Jesus' name, amen.